Hi guys, it is Lenikia and I'm coming to you with Season 1, Episode 4 of The Big Leap. Ah, this is still my favorite show um, of the whole season. It's called Nothing But Money Shots. Okay. So I'm going to try to do something different because I heard one of my favorite YouTubers say that that they record this way. So I'm going to try to do it myself. And I'm trying to talk lower because I like to talk loud. But I realize that when I do that, it's booming, booming, booming. Because y'all know I'm still, like, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. But I'm trying to make a certain amount on YouTube before I can, you know, upgrade. But anyways. Okay, so. um, So, okay, so. It starts out with. Um, we see Wayne at a like a, a, a gentleman's club uh, for men, and so he meets this man named Neil, and he takes Neil home and whatever. They get in this relationship, but they're not good for each other. They're on drugs and all that kind of stuff. And Wayne pitches the idea of the big leap. Um, so he's telling this woman about it, and then Neil's like, "Call it. You should call it the big leap." I hope that does not. I, I haven't finished the episode, so I'm gonna record. Uh, watch like 15 minutes or so then break record just to try to because it's so hard to try to remember what I just saw without having to watch it like two or three times okay anyways anyways so the promo has dropped right the promo has finally dropped for um all of the uh, for the show to get people to interested in and wanting to watch it and everything and so now that that has has um came about Gabby was at the doctor's office with her son, and she's on the phone. So she's still in contact with her Sam's dad. That's her child. We just don't know who it is, and neither does her mom, because her mom is like, well, I wish she would tell, like, this girl can keep a secret, because she doesn't know who the dad is. And then the mom is like, she's on dating apps. Ugh. And she's, like, telling the doctor, are you single? She's embarrassing Gabby in front of the doctor and everything, and her son. Like, mama, stop. Just stop. So then we see where, um, oh, okay, so then we see where, um, Paige, is, oh, Mike is at Paige's house, because remember she said she needed help, help with her oven, so he over there fixing this girl oven and, and everything, and she's asking him about Paula, and she's like, oh, you seem happy, and he's kind of free spirit, he don't even realize she really just trying to fish for information, he's like, oh, did I say hi, cutie pies? If I didn't, I'm sorry. Hi, cutie pies. If um, but he doesn't even realize she's trying to like kind of fish for information because he's just like, yeah, I am happy. This is out of my comfort zone, but I'm enjoying it. And she was like, she started asking him about Paula, right? And I think he was just gonna say him and Paula. He was just going to tell the truth, which is he and Paula are just friends. But then Patrick shows up, and so then he tells her that he and Paula are dating. <laughs> Like Mike, why? But okay, I'm here for it. So um, then they, then she's like, oh well, I'm glad you're happy. Me and pa- Patrick and I are happy or whatever. And Patrick likes to cook, and because Patrick goes in about his sourdough bread and all that kind of stuff, and she, she's looking at him like, not right now. <laughs> but anyways, so they both are trying to show that they're happy for each other because she doesn't want it to be weird and he doesn't want it to be weird. So he was like, oh, well, maybe we should get together. They were both like, maybe we should get together. So anyways, they have agreed to have dinner tonight. Um, and Patrick's going to make a roast chicken. And he's like, oh, I got to start that now. <laughs> I got to start uh, getting that chicken ready now if we're going to have this, if we're gonna do this tonight. So they agree to it or whatever. Um, so then we see... Wayne, uh, okay, so Wayne sees Mo- Monica injecting herself. He's like, what are you doing? Because I thought there was going to be like a huge secret. But she's doing it out in the open. And she was like, I'm going to dance or whatever. And he was like, you don't have to dance to teach. And she was like, I'm a dancer first. Excuse me. And he was like, all right. He was like, uh, the promo is doing well. He loves that the promo is doing well. She's embarrassed by it because she's a true dancer. Even though Wayne's a dancer, he just wanted his career back. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I said this earlier, but Wayne was really on drugs, and now he is three years sober. And one of those reasons, I think, is because he's not around Neil anymore. So he tells Monica that he's been talking to Neil, and he follows him and everything on Instagram. I believe he said, and she's just like, she doesn't like it because she's like, Neil is bad news. Um, which is that that's remember Wayne's ex. Um. So then we see. Okay, so Simon, remember Simon, he's he's the brother to um what's her name? Bridget. 
That's Brittany. That's her brother. Well, you know, him and um, Justin had got kind of close, but in the promo, Justin was like, look at him. He's in a tutu. He looks ridiculous. And so Simon is like, like, don't be put projecting how you feel about your own sexuality and all that kind of stuff onto me. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with myself and everything. But she's not talking to Justin. So they're getting into it. And Gabby is happy because she getting recognized because the promo made her look in a good light because even at the doctor's office they gave her like a little thing for free parking or whatever and so um so she's happy about all of this so Simon and Justin they get over there um and they try they're trying to dance and, oh, I'm going ahead of myself, but it's all right. Simon and Justin get over there and try to dance, and they're um fussing at each other or whatever. And Monica's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, I can't have this. So then, as they're fussing and everything, Wayne is there, and all of a sudden, Neil comes through Wayne's ex-husband or ex, and he comes through, and and Monica's like, uh, uh-uh, uh, this ain't no good. This is like this is the devil. That's what he is. So, I'm not, I don't like, I like Wayne. Don't do this. Don't do this with Wayne. I like him. But anyway, so Gabby, Gabby is getting all this attention, right? So she, and they're like, Brittany was like, oh, you're on dating apps? Ugh. And she was like, yeah, I'm trying to get on the celebrity dating app. And Brittany was like, no, 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 I even, I can't get on the celebrity dating app or whatever. But, and Reggie was like, you're on dating apps? Uh-uh, Reggie. Remember? Oh, I'm sorry. I told you I was going to try to keep it going. <laughs> but remember, you were with Brittany, sir. You could have had your chance with Gabby, but you wanted Brittany. Go on, be with her. So, um, anyways, now, so, Gabby got accepted onto the dating app, right? And so she was super stoked. And she's all like, okay, I'm happy or whatever. And um, Reggie, he, he, I think he likes Gabby. But also, he's getting a lot of heat from being a ballerina because on the phone, I'm so glad I watched this on Hulu. Uh, and I was on my laptop because I just paused and I was like, what are those messages? I rewinded and paused and it was like, oh, he's a ballerina now. Like, they, they're coming for him. But you know how people get, can be. Um, so then... Um, Paula, so then we see Mike and Paula, and Paula asks him about Paige, and he's like, uh, I kind of told her we were dating. <laughs> At least he admitted, admitted the truth to her, and she was like, I don't care, I'll go with it. I was like, okay, okay then. So they're going to go to, the, she agreed to go to the dinner with him and be his fake girlfriend. I don't know how this is going to work out. So then, um, Oh, so then we see Julia and Raven. Now, remember, Julia is the one whose husband just don't went off to Costa Rica with all her money, and he gave 10000 to Raven so she could be a counselor. And Raven is like, she's mad at Julia because she said, you called me a home wrecker on the television, and now I'm getting, there. you know, it's double my death threats. And I, I don't really know why Raven is that upset. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. Um, I don't even know why. Like, I get why Julia is mad at Raven. I think they're trying to force this storyline right here <laughs> just to give Raven something. But um, Julia's at this point, she's like, I don't even know where he is. He was in Costa Rica, but I, don't, I have no clue. And she lost followers. I'm like, why would you lose followers? I guess because she didn't have this perfect marriage that everybody, all her followers thought she did. But anyway, I'm talking about this like these are real people, but you know, everybody know everybody ain't got the perfect marriage. I, having been married and divorced, I. I remember I used to post stuff about being happy and I was not happy. <laughs> That's why I don't take that stuff with a grain of salt because some people are truly happy, but I used to post about, you know, happiness. I was like, woof, woof. No. <laughs> so just take it with a grain of salt. That's how I do whenever I see people like that. And then you won't be upset because somebody's marriage isn't what you thought it was. Um, okay. So then, um, just... Okay, um, because of the, okay. Okay, so this whole time Nick is um, having conversations with his daughter, right? Because he wants her to um, stay in the States. This little girl wants to go. He's not getting the message, but this little girl wants to go and play soccer um, overseas in the UK. And and I, I, I haven't finished the episode, but I believe at the end of the episode, she's going to tell him that's what she wants to do, and he's going to have to accept that. Um, okay, so Gabby, right? Gabby has got a date with a baseball player. His name is um, Aaron. And Reggie tried to warn her. He tried to be like, like, listen, watch out for these players because they'll date. And she was like, what? I'm anything. And she was like, I'm going on this date. My hair and makeup is bomb. I'm going. 
And so he's concerned. And then here come Brittany because, you know, she's seeing the way he's concerned about her. And she's like, she don't like it. But it is what it is, girl. You know how you got him. Um, and that's it. That's it right for right now. Because I just started the dinner scene. So, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, now. They're at the dinner, right? So it's Paula, Paige, Patrick, and Mike at the dinner, right? Okay. So they're talking or whatever. And Paige um, is calling. It's like, how, so Paige is like, so Paula, how did you meet my Mike? I mean, Mike. Mm-hmm. And so um, you could clearly tell that she's jealous. And so Paula is just like, uh, she's, I don't know why she did this, but she made up a story about killer bees on the set and all that kind of stuff. And Patrick was like, oh my gosh, in the Midwest. And so then this story goes, it starts going off or whatever. I'm just going to wrap this little part up right here. So this story is going off or whatever. And it's getting, it's funny or whatever. They're drinking and everything. And Paige has clearly, clearly had too much. And so she, then she starts telling um, Paula, well, because, you know, they're just telling, she's, just saying how much of a good time she has with Mike. And Paige is like, well, enjoy it now because soon, sad face, Mike is going to show up who's getting get fired, acting like he's the only person that's like, wow, angry much? <laughs> and then, so Mike is uncomfortable, uncomfortable, and Paige is like, and Paula is just like, she defends him. She's like, I'm grateful to him. You know, he's helped me. And then Patrick was like, I'm grateful to the show for getting rid of those bees. It was cute. I like the scene. It was cute or whatever. Okay. So then Wayne and Monica argue about Neil, right? Because it's just like, because she's like, Neil is no good. He's up to something, Wayne. And of course, Wayne don't wanna he doesn't want to hear it or whatever. So they're supposed to be getting shots, shots for Alan because Alan is writing Nick about get a good shot, get a good shot, get a good shot. And so... But they can't get it because the two hosts are arguing and they haven't taken a group shot or anything yet. So, um, Alan, excuse me, Wayne and Monica leave. They don't even get the shot because they're mad at each other because he's like, you're on painkillers. And she, she's like, you're messing with Neil. He's going to mess up your sobriety. He's up. He's no good. He's not good for you mentally and all that kind of stuff. So, okay. So then Wayne, he goes and meets with Neil um, at dinner and Neil ordered champagne, and Wayne was like, I thought you were sober. And he was like, uh-uh, drugs are my problem, not not alcohol. Okay. Uh, and so then Wayne is starting to be like, hmm. So then Neil said, okay, so um, that show you called, you're so successful at everything that show. I want 15% because that was my name, and I told y'all that this was going to come back to haunt Wayne, and it is because now Neil wants 15% ownership of the show because that he they used his name. And everything. And then he pulls out Coke. And he was like, I thought you weren't doing drugs. And he was like, Coke is not a drug. And so Wayne was like, he just gets up from the table. He's like, mm mm. Because Neil has sold the house. That, like in the divorce, Neil got a lot. And he pretty much squandered it. And now he's after Wayne for a handout or whatever. And Wayne just gets up from the table. He was like, damn. I mean, excuse me, I hate to curse on my videos because I know some of y'all watch them at work. He's like, um, on your lunch break. You know, I because I like some of my favorite YouTubers, but I can't watch them at when I was on my lunch break and stuff when I used to work because I work from home now. But when I used to work out yeah, because they curse, curse too much, so forgive me for that. But anyways, so now Wayne is just like, I should have listened. <laughs> you know? Okay. So Gabby goes on his day, right? This man, Aaron, has a bunch of different women there. And she was like, what is this? I didn't under quite understand it. I guess he felt and was feeling good about himself. And all these girls was just, I don't know. But anyways, uh, Reggie ends up showing up, right? And um, so Reggie comes and rescues her. Now, he just, no, no, he not in just in the neighborhood. He was probably watching that Instagram or whatever social media to see where she was. But anyways, he comes and rescues her. And as they're leaving, Aaron was like, oh, you're a ballerina now to Reggie. And Gabby was like, uh, 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 don't do that. Don't do that because I looked you up. You're bitched most games. Like, stop it. You don't even play like that. <laughs> so that was, the, um, that was that part right there. Um, so then we see, what else are we looking at? Okay, 
So Justin and Monica are dancing, right? Because she's that's how she's working off her argument with Neil. And it is beautiful. They are really matching each other. And then she falls, right? And she messes up her knee. And instead of just being like, you know, she she it's like she won't accept that she cannot dance anymore. So she gets mad at Justin and tells him, you're not getting it. And he was like, that's the best I've ever danced. What are you talking about? And But he leaves because he's like, oh, I, I don't have time for this. And then she screams and gets all the cameramen out. And really, she's trying to get them everyone out of there because she can't get up. She can't dance. She's put all those steroids in her knee and it didn't work because she still cannot dance the way she used to dance. Um... So that's where we are. I'll be right. So then we see uh, Hen and Nick are talking. That's Nick's daughter. And she's like, listen, I'm tired of you trashing my mom. Because I get why he's doing it. Because he wants her to like him and want to stay with him. But, like, sir, she's going to go. She's leaving. And, but and anyways, so then um, so Mike and Paula come out. And he was like, ooh, you want to help me make them kiss? So Mike and Paula come out, and they're in the studio, and Nick and Hen are, like, dimming the lights. They got the wind blowing. I'm like, do y'all not see these signs of, uh, it's not sound effects, but do you not see all these effects going on around you, Mick, Mike and Paula? But they don't, and they're about to kiss and everything, and it's perfect because they got it all on camera. And then here comes Neil. <laughs> Here comes Neil barging in, talking about, it's mine, the big leap, it's mine, it's all mine, you know. And uh, so Wayne had to tackle him, and Nick is like, what is going on? And all these people come running, and Mike and Paula ran out, and then they end up going back to her place, or whatever, and getting, I guess, getting into me, I don't know. But it looks like that's where that was going. Um, so then we see Raven. So Raven's up there doing, making her money, dancing or whatever. And Julia comes in. And she was like, I know you know where my husband is. And Raven, so Raven, she sends her client, customer away. And she says, um, buy me a drink and pay me for the dance. And I'll, you know, and I'll tell you. So Julia does that. And she's like, can I just give you this money and you can tell me where he is? And Raven was like, I don't know where that man is, woman. And she was like, you said you would give me advice. And she was like, my advice that look at this is like a good thing. It could, maybe this is a gift that he left. Like, what's going to happen when he comes back? Y'all going to live happily ever after? No. Maybe you don't even want him back or whatever. And then so that, that made Julia think about it. And then she was like, I'm not going to take advice from a booty dancer. <laughs> and then Raven was like, listen, I used to train in ballet, but I wasn't really that great at it. And this pays the bills. So that's what it was. And so Julia taught her some um, moves and tricks and everything. So Wayne Go is at the hotel room with Neil. And Neil is like, we're, don't you think we're supposed to be back together? Like, where's the free fun guy? Wayne, don't do this. Where's the free fun guy? And drinking and having fun. Wayne got bad with Neil. So I don't know how it's going to end, but I'm not liking this. <laughs> At all. So then we see Nick. Um, so Monica had tried to get in touch contact with Wayne, but he ain't answering. He's too busy messing with Neil. Um, so she calls Nick, and he gets her up, and his, he tells his daughter to go start the car, and they're gonna take her to the hospital because she cannot move her knee, like she's on the floor stuck. Um, and then we see Gabby and Reggie. So she's he's went to her place, and they're just chilling on the couch watching TV and everything. And she said, sorry, I ruined your coming. And he was like, girl, I was watching Madden playing myself um, and everything. And she was like, oh, man. He was like, you know, Aaron was a D-bag, but he was right about me. You know, I'm an ex-football player, not just ballerina. And she was like, well, what do you want to do? And he said he wanted to play football. And she was like, stop. Get serious about it. And train and work hard. Like, look at me. I'm a mom um, who's trying to dance again. So you can do it, too. And he was like, okay, girl. And she was like, stop. And what is this going on with Brittany? Like, stop with that. Like, that, that's a distraction. And he was like, dang, I thought she was going to rub my back in and, uh, you know, talk to him sweet or whatever. And she was like, no. Mm -mm. Uh, but you can rub my feet. And so he was about, he was rubbing her feet. And then Sam, I like friends. It was all friendly. And then Sam comes out and he told her um, he had a scary dream about monsters. And so... Uh, Reggie told him what he did, like when he had scary dreams, and then, you know, it made Sam feel better. And then he gets up under Reggie, and they're chilling. And Gabby's looking like, oh, mm. you know, because, you know, 
so then we see um oh yeah so when he got under Reggie because it was all cute and then we see Julia so Julia is telling Raven um, about her being a dancer and that she danced with two people two other people and they were her best friends and they got AIDS and it was the 80s and if y'all I, you know, one of the best shows that um, talks about that whole era and time is Pose because, oh my gosh, if if what Pose shows, which I know it's you know to be true, um, just from watching other documents, it is that the way they treated you know people who had AIDS at that time was just horrible and she said you know she watched them die and everything and um she was just sad and so dancing wasn't her priority at that point so that was pretty much it with her and then uh raven was like you owe me four hundred dollars for dance she was like uh technically i dance half of the time so it, we'll call it 200 and call it raven was like oh 400 okay so then so then we see that um, Wayne is in the room, right? So he's calling Monica, calling Monica, calling Monica. and um, But she doesn't have her phone because, you know, she's in the hospital. So um, Henry Tell, which is Nick's daughter, says, why don't you just answer? Because it could be emergency. It is. Um, he, uh, he doesn't want, Wayne is in the hotel room in the bathroom and he won't come out because Neil is out there, which he's attracted to Neil. And all these drugs and alcohol and all that kind of stuff. And he was like, if I, I can't walk past that and just not do anything. So, Henry was like, okay, let's go. So, they go over and they get uh, Neil. Excuse me, Wayne. Uh, Nick and Henry Henda. And so, then Neil is like, what's going on? Is this child labor? She should be in bed and all that kind of stuff. And But they got him out of the room or whatever. And I guess he's not going to pursue I don't know because I haven't finished it, but I guess he's not going to pursue um, more charges or anything. Okay, so then Mike is happy. Like, he's dancing in the street, he's, um, hopping on the back of uh, garbage trucks and everything. And because, you know, he's just had an, uh, he, he really likes Paula. And so then Paula, he left his wallet at Paula's house, so she opens it up, snooping. And she finds out that he lost his job because of her. Remember, we found that out at the beginning um, because Nick found it out. But I don't know why he's holding him yet. But he wants him to fall and then they're going to drop that bomb. But now Paula, Paula knows. So I, I don't, we don't know if she's going to tell him or what's going to happen. So. Oh, my God. So then Reggie's uh, Reggie leaves, right? So he left. And then... Uh, <sighs> Gabby's mom comes out and she's like, who was here? And Gabby is like, Reggie was. And she was like, I don't like him. He's unavailable. I don't want you following with another unavailable man. And she was like, I like Reggie. I might even love him. And here comes Reggie. I was like, oh, girl. <laughs> oh, girl, this is not a cute look. Like, first of all, I don't like the way they're making her fall so fast. Like, I don't like, I don't like the way they're making her fall so fast. But, oh, my God. Okay, so I finally finished it, and Reggie stayed, okay, so then Reggie came in, I wrapped that up, and so it's awkward, it's just, they just sitting, sitting there, and she's like, oh my god, see mama, if you would just leave this girl alone, she wouldn't embarrass herself like that, hopefully Reggie didn't hear, and he doesn't know who she's talking about, um, so Wayne gave Neil $20,000 and said, stay out of my life forever. And Neil is already told my wheels up, Neil's up, and he's gone to uh, the airport. Um, so Monica and Wayne make up, and he just tells her, you, you know, my relationship with Neil is toxic. Yours with ballet is toxic. She was like, what are we going to do? And he was like, I don't know, baby. We're going to figure it out because I need you. And she was like, and I need you. So they're going to be happy, and they, you know, dance, be each other's support. Um, oh, but they did tell her that, you know, with this fall, they had to operate on her knee again, and she might never walk or dance the same again. Um, Julia gave $400 to Raven, uh, you know, for the night, and so that was cute. And then, so they're taking the group photo and everything, and, and Hen Henry says, Dad, your show's going to be good, the pretty lady. 
um, Paula, she's talking about, she's hiding something, and they, she was like, what are you going to do? He was like, I'm going to tell the man she loves um, her secret, which, of course, is that she was the one who, you know, is the reason why he got fired. And that was the big leap. I hope this video, I'm going to see how it works. If it doesn't work like this, then I'm going to go back to my old way of doing it. But if this works, it's just easier to do it this way. But we'll see. Um, I hope you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day.